Boonshaft, and I'm a middle school band director from Syosset, New York. I've been teaching band for 20 years, and I've taught at the elementary through the college level. I'm excited to talk a bit about the flute today. I'd like to share some ideas for starting beginners to make sure they are set up for success. The first thing I tell students for the safety of the instrument is to keep the case on the floor. Have the latches pointed down and the Jupiter emblem on top. I then teach them about the three parts of the flute. The head joint, the body, with this part being called the barrel, and the foot joint. Of course, we all know the key to playing any wind instrument is proper and effective breathing. We all have our own way of teaching it and know how vital it is that we do so before moving on to the instrument. After working on breathing, I have them take their right index finger and place it just where the lip meets the chin. I have them say the word poo, as in Winnie the Pooh. Poo, poo, poo. Then I have them form their lips as if they're saying the word poo, but just blow the air out. This is the foundation for sound production and embouchure. Now it's time to transfer what we just did on the finger to the head joint. Have them grab the head joint using both hands have them place the edge of the embouchure hole where the lip meets the chin. The bottom lip should be relaxed and not tight, and the corners should be slightly firm, with the bottom lip squishing out over the lip plate. It's not a smile, and it's not a frown. It's what I like to call the embouchure of indifference. It's just a very neutral face. The air should be directed to the outer edge of the embouchure hole, with approximately 50 to 60% of the air going into the hole to achieve a full, rich sound. Have the students place their hand over the end of the head joint. Have them form their lips as if they're saying the word poo to set their embouchure and just blow the air out. Now have them start with the syllable two, like this. Have them remove their hand and place it here. Now they can change the pitch by pulling their finger in and out, playing tunes they know or creating their own. It is essential that we take the time just on the head joint alone to establish a proper embouchure and play with a clear sound. Once a clear sound has been achieved, it's time to assemble the instrument. This probably won't happen the first day, and that's okay, because we want to make sure those foundational concepts are in place. In fact, for me, my first practice assignments for the students are always just on the head joint. Now it's time to assemble the flute. Have them grab the body of the flute by the barrel in their left hand and twist the head joint on using the right hand. Make sure they don't push the head joint all the way in. In fact, a good starting point for flutists is to keep the head joint pulled out about a quarter of an inch. Keeping the left hand on the barrel, grab the foot joint in the right hand, grasping the keys gently but firmly, and twist. The pinky post should be lined up right in the center of the D key. And to align the head joint, hold the head joint away from you, being sure to line up the embouchure hole with the first key on the flute. Now I'll show you the contact points for the flute. I start with the right hand, which holds much of the flute's weight. I tell the students, as our old friend Cookie Monster says, C is for cookie. Have them form a C in the right hand, pretending there's a rolled up ball of socks in their palm. This prevents the hand from collapsing and also keeps the fingers nice and curved. Have them place the thumb directly underneath the F key so that if you were to pinch through the flute, they would actually touch. To make sure the right hand position is correct, have the students balance the flute just using the right hand. Keep the left hand here supporting the flute. But if their right hand position is correct, they should be able to do this. In fact, it's virtually impossible to do this if the thumb is not in the right spot. Be sure to keep the left hand here, just in case. Now for the left hand, you're going to rest the flute 
on the inside of the top joint of the left index finger. Show them where to put the fingers, keeping the wrist and fingers nice and relaxed, and keep the thumb straight. I also have the students pull their flute slightly forward to avoid any strain on the back. They should also feel free to adjust their chairs in rehearsals so they can sit on the edge and on the corner and be comfortable when they're playing. A lot of young flutists begin to droop their flute and they say it's because it's heavy. Well, if you teach them the proper contact points and posture, keeping the body relaxed and bringing the flute to them, this should not be a problem. It is crucial that students have a solid flute in good working order. And for me, nothing beats the Jupiter JFL 710A. <laughs> Featuring a silver-plated nickel-silver head joint, body, and keys, it has an offset G, stainless steel springs, and ribbed construction. It's responsive in all registers, has great key action, and the keys are well aligned for your young flutist. The scale is wonderful, which makes it easy to play in tune. Teachers and parents can have peace of mind, because not only does it come with this durable case, with this great label, perfect for writing their name, but it comes with a 10-year warranty. That means the flute is guaranteed until they graduate high school. You can't beat that. Now we'll disassemble the flute, and we do this much the way we assembled the flute, using that twisting motion. Another reason I love this flute is it comes with two very high-quality cleaning cloths. Take this first cloth right here and teach the students to wipe down each of the joints every time they're done playing. A lot of times, flutes become difficult to put together from deposits on these joints. So if you get them in the habit of doing this, every time they play, the flute will stay in beautiful shape. Now, have them take this cleaning cloth and insert it into the cleaning rod. Make sure to wrap it around the tip. And you're going to clean out each of the sections of the flute. Making sure your students are taught good habits from day one, along with playing on a quality instrument like the Jupiter JFL 710A, will set them up for success and many years of wonderful music making.